I'm Helena Stone for CUE TV, and I'm here with Jeremy Kaplan, who's been talking to me about smart home and HomeKit. And you know, right now the marketplace there's so many smart home products, but they're also fragmented. They're not working well with one another. Exactly. That's the weird dilemma that we're in. We're walking around this show here at CE Week. There's a ton of great products. It's almost a, a utopian vision sure. of, of where we're going to be. And it's wonderful. A lot of fantastic products. Everything we see here is really exciting and tremendous. But the reality today is you don't have this stuff at home. I don't have this stuff at home. Our homes are dumb. Actually, I do have a lot of smart home products at home. Like, I have tons. I have a smart lock. Um, I have a smart sink. I have everything smart. smart. Sink, I love yeah, it. I, I've really kitted my, my home out with all these smart products, but even though there's like, you know, home kit and all these systems for them to work together, they're not really working together well yet. That's and one of the really, the biggest problems, I think, is that there's, we're in this format wars sort of thing, like DVDs, like the Blu-ray player wars we had, like Betamax back in the day. Who is going to own the smart home? Who is going to be the glue that locks all this stuff together? Is that, and I think that for consumers, it's overwhelming because it's like, do I go with the Nest system? Do I go with the HomeKit system? Exactly. So like here they are the solutions to kind of bring them all together, but none of them are really bringing them all together. And if you're a company like Google or like Apple, you're looking at this and you're seeing dollar signs, right? If I am the company that makes this all happen, that's huge for me, which is, I, I think that's one of the reasons that we see Apple pushing into it. But what Apple brings here with the HomeKit stuff is that famous ease of use. We're all super familiar with the iPhone. We all. I've got my iPhone on me okay. right now. I've got my watch on me. Okay. If you can control everything right here, or through one simple app right here, arguably that's the way to go. So I, I you know, along those lines, I uh, recently set up Lutron light switch in my home. And the neatest thing is that I can use Siri to turn my lights on and turn my lights off. Right. So I'll be like, Siri, turn the lights off, and it works. And in that respect, you're right. I mean, we're already in the ecosystem. We're already using the Apple iOS if you're an Apple iOS user, so there's a massive advantage there. But that's the classic example, though, of the vision versus the reality. Even when you can do something neat, like turn your lights on and off with this, it still isn't super smart devices. You know, they're not doing anything for themselves. They don't realize that maybe it's a little too, if the lights, if it brightens up outside, they don't dim themselves automatically to adjust for that. There isn't, there's a future where there is that level of smarts and we're just not I there. I think it's coming, I think it's coming. Well, if there is one, piece of final advice you can give to like Apple and Nest and to all these different guys that are doing their own you know home, smart home system, ecosystems what would it be it would be to be to play nice I okay. think everyone is thinking yeah. about how they can be the one that does it all and I don't think anyone's going to win unless we all if all of these companies actually start talking to each other and working nicely that's great I agree everybody start playing nicely with each other utopia we need it please be friendly definitely Cool. Well, thank you, Jeremy. It's a pleasure. Uh, and watch more at CU Week TV. We have a lot coming.